questions. Recording in progress. We will be entering escrow uh, next week um, for the per final purchase of the hospital and closing all transactions by August 31st and turning uh, the ownership of the hospital to the Paro Valley Healthcare District um, to the, the hospital to them on September 1. So very exciting news after a lot of effort over the past year. You can go to the next slide. So just to give a, a little bit of background, uh, the Paro Valley Healthcare District Project, this is a nonprofit of which the county, the city of Watsonville, Salud para la Gente, Paro Valley Health Community, Community Health Trust are all members of, um, was formed in November of 2021 to purchase the hospital and return it to community ownership and operation. Um, in December, Watsonville Community Hospital declared bankruptcy and sent out warrant notices. February 2022, um, the bankruptcy court uh, approved the Paro Valley Health District Project, that is the nonprofit, which I am a member, as the lead bidder and finalized the sale. That was a very big moment that we were able to finalize that uh, sale agreement. And then urgency legislation was approved to form the Paro Valley Healthcare District. Uh, thank you to especially Senator Laird and Assembly Member Rivas for leading that effort, a truly remarkable effort to do such a quick um, uh, turnaround on that legislation. In March, the County um, Board of Supervisors established the Paro Valley Healthcare District and you appointed five district members uh, and they have had they have um, had a very robust schedule. I've already had 15 meetings to date. Uh, the Santa Cruz County, we are providing the staffing to that district. We are we have fully stood it up, including providing um, the legal um, work, uh, the accounting work, uh, and then all, of course, all of the staffing work. So there's probably around 15 to 20 staff that have been working uh, a lot on standing up this healthcare district uh, in such a short time period. So the project in the district has developed um, a business plan with a number of very well thought of consulting firms um, to turn around the hospital in the next one to two years uh, that there's been a great deal of work in turn making sure that there's a viable and sustainable path forward for the hospital. It is going to be very difficult. It's a very difficult healthcare environment statewide, nationwide. Uh, but we have a plan that we think is going to be successful, and it's the best plan um, that we could have developed, and the county has contributed to that as have other uh, community partners. On August 31, as I mentioned, the bankruptcy court will, has established the date to close the sale. We, we will be entering escrow, we believe, next week, and then the close will happen on the 31st. Go ahead and the next slide. Uh, the hospital, um, we have set a goal of $67 million, which includes the acquisition price as well as the operating capitals, uh, operating capital needs for the hospital for the first year of operation. Um, the Pajaro Valley Health District Project and other partners have come together and we have raised $60 million to date. And um, this includes $25 million in a delayed state grant award, which is the subject of our meeting today, that $25 million. Uh, there's a $6 million remaining funding gap. This is um, mainly the operating capital needs. We do have the funds sufficient to close the acquisition and complete the purchase. Um, so we um, anticipate getting the additional $6 million to cover the operating reserve um, by the end of September. And to come around, to come together around the $25 million delayed state grant, community and city partners. Um, have come together to create to create these loan agreements to to serve as a bridge loan to get the money to the hospital. Next slide. So uh, we uh, have requested uh, various city and community partners to lend the county five million dollars each. We will guarantee those loans, and then in return, we will turn those funds over to the healthcare district project to finalize the purchase uh, of the hospital and return it to local ownership. Uh, the $25 million um, from the state grant, this was secured due to the efforts of Senator Laird and Assembly Member Rivas. There were some drafting errors when state budget staff wrote this up uh, in the state budget. 
and such that it is going to have to be amended the language in a trailer bill which will not be approved until we think august 31st at which point the governor will sign it we have been in touch with the administration they said that they can get us the money within two weeks of the budget being approved so that would be mid-september the problem is is that 25 million dollars is crucial to the final purchase of the hospital uh, we don't we have to have it before august 31st or before mid-september is when the money will come so that is why we have uh, asked our community partners and city partners who all have a key stake uh, in keeping the hospital open and sustainable uh, the entire community does and i'm really grateful for each of them stepping up and agreeing to do this they will each provide short-term loans of 60 days or less they will charge a very low or no interest uh, the interest will be the local area investment fund rate which is a state fund that most of them invest in which is about 1.2 percent right now um, we could have gone out and got a private sector loan from a private bank uh, but the cost estimates were in the excess of a, a quarter million dollars for up to 60 day loan for 25 million dollars so that would have been um, really tragic to have to spend that kind of money uh, just because of uh, some errors at the, at the state level with regard to how the language is written so that's why we've done this. It'll be a very minimal cost, and we'll um, be able to get the $25 million into escrow. Um, next slide. So this is our recommendation uh, that the board approve these five $5 million short-term loan agreements between the county and city and community partners to provide bridge funding for the purchase of Watsonville Hospital, and that you authorize minor changes to be made to the cost and administrative provisions of the agreements with the approval of county administrative officer and county council uh, in order to accommodate any uh, special requests from our partners and that that you also approve the transfer of the loan funds to escrow to the escrow account established to close the sale of the hospital <coughs> to the Pahawai health care district by august 31st that uh, concludes my staff report thank you very much thank you cao palacios are there any questions or comments from members of the board All right, seeing none, is there any member of the public that wishes to address us on this item? I see no hands raised. Uh, if you do wish to make a comment, click the raise hand button at the bottom of the Zoom screen. All right, seeing no member of the public that wishes to comment, I'll return to the board for action. Uh, Mr. Oh, Chair, oh, oh, go ahead. Uh, second. All right, so I'll move the recommended actions. As you know, nothing. Uh, that really matters in life is is particularly easy, and I think that this is is a challenging situation. But I think we're doing everything we can to ensure the health access for uh, our entire county, for not just actually our county, but even Monterey County, be preserved. So I'll move the recommended actions, and I believe Supervisor Caput seconded. You bet. Uh, the only uh, comment I'll make is, uh, uh, yeah, if uh, if we take out the loan, five million dollars each, twenty-five million total. Um, everything looks good to me, but you also have to look at what if the deal falls through? Uh, uh, what if uh, we don't get the twenty-five million? The, you know the well, what, what would happen then? Yeah. Um, so the money has been approved in the state budget and signed by the governor. Uh, so it's there. It's just they made a minor drafting error in writing up the language at the state level, the state budget staff. And so they have committed to us that they're going to correct that language. And so I think this is about as low risk as you can get. Um, yeah. There's always a risk, but, you know, it's less than 1%. That's say for sure. And I think we will have the money by mid-September. You bet. Uh, anytime you're dealing with money, there's the better uh, risk versus uh, benefit. Sure. Thank you. All right. We have a motion by Supervisor Friend and a second by Supervisor Caput to accept the staff recommendations. Any further discussion? Most important health care issue we can address in Santa Cruz County. Congratulations and a, a big thanks to those who participated. Yeah, I'll also extend my thanks to staff for just constant level of creativity uh, in overcoming these challenges. There's been numerous, uh, but keep keep getting us over them. And it looks like we're close to the end here. And 
uh, having met the management team at Watsonville Hospital, Stephen Sawyer and, and crew. I um, mean, it's clear that we've got a good mix down there of experienced turnaround artists like Mr. Sawyer himself, uh, as well as longtime dedicated employees of the hospital that just really know the community uh, and the operations there. And uh, I think we've got a really great opportunity to turn the hospital around and excited to, to finally get to the moment where we truly transfer this organization. Yeah, one uh, one more quick uh, uh, question. Uh, there's a, uh, still a six million dollar gap, right? Uh, even after the twenty five million, and uh, is there a, do a deadline on that? Yes, um, we have. Um, we do have the secure. We have secured the funds to actually to complete the purchase. So the purchase is going to happen. Uh, the question is that we wanted to have at least $10 million of operating capital for the hospital to get through the first year of operations, um, be to give them time to turn around their operations to be in the black. Uh, we are short about $6 million for that goal. We're, we've set a self-imposed goal by the end of September, raising that last $6 million, and we believe we will be successful. It's amazing the amount of community partners and businesses and nonprofits and uh, statewide and local uh, businesses have and individuals have all come forward to help us and we're confident we'll get there uh, by the end of September. Okay. All right, if there's no further discussion, clerk, please call the roll. Supervisor Friend? Aye. Coonerty? Aye. Caput? Aye. McPherson? Aye. And Koenig? Aye. Item passes unanimously. Thank you. Then that brings us to the end of our special meeting agenda. The next regular meeting of the Board of Supervisors will be next Tuesday, August 23rd at 9 a.m. Thank you, everyone. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, everyone. We'll see everybody Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you. Recording stopped.